do want to see what the uh, what the parents have to say. Yeah. Louita says you must be one of the scions. Thank you for caring for my daughter. The time she spent with you was all too short, but I know she was proud to have you as comrades. Orion J2, I'm sure, and certainly feel better for knowing he has good friends to look after him. That he comes home from time to time, will you? And Wilson says, the classical Rogadin language isn't so different from Eorzean. Did you ever wonder why we named our daughter Moon's Bride? When I first held her, the moon was shining silver and full. The whole world seemed to glow. I knew it had chosen her, that she would be a beacon of that selfsame light. Of course, we'd later hear our fair share of jokes about how we ought to have gone for sun instead, with how bright and stubborn she was. But fiery as my moon Brita was, she was always kind, kind and gentle. And the moon motifs on uh, Orion J hit a little different thinking about yeah. that. <laughs> what motifs? As he stands there with a giant moon on his back. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, is it still is it still going? I'm just gonna check. Oh yep. yeah, no, it's still, still going. going. But there might be a cutscene. So, Ranjay says, "Old oh, Tuna and Val, be assured that I am fine. I am full glad to see them too, after so very long. Gladder still that it was in your company. As difficult it is, it was to accept their kindness." would have been far harder than I faced them alone. Yep. Nope, no cutscene. Nope, just loop. Nope, just no cutscene, just loop. Just just loop that music. One more time. One more time. Yeah. Remember when we were like, this 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 will be the, the the calmer Thursday stream. We'll be done early. Well, I mean, it was it was big. This is a lot. It was of a lot. reading in that one. No, yeah, yeah, and and, uh, and a big chunk oh. of gameplay there for it too. Yes, that was that was a lot. Oh, I do like what they did with that. I mean, particularly Orianje. Oh God, yeah. There's no arguing with that. Uh, that that cutscene there was uh, so much of what I've been wanting since Realm Reborn. Yeah. <sighs> Richard brings up a good point. It's mm. like I remember an interview with Jesse, mm -hmm. where he was like, "So, there's any uh, doing my best Jesse impression? I think there's any plot points you feel are dangling." I mean, that's such a, it's such a big one in an MMO. Well, do you remember one of my answers? What was it? Where the fuck are Moonbreed's parents? Oh, yeah. They, they did mention they that. They mentioned them yeah. at the very beginning of Heaven's Ward. Yeah. And didn't Orianje, like, go off to see them or something? I think it, that's, uh... Or I thought it was implied. Oh, man, that was right before, uh, Thavnir, so I, I don't remember that exact bit. It was right before we... Did the whole like transporting the Ethernet with the um, lady? The teleporter. Who, yeah, yeah. yeah. Before everyone and got she's sick. like, "Oh yeah, this is totally experimental." And, and we had yogurt. now that you're about to be ported, just so you know, uh, everything studio. everything's gonna go horrible. Yeah, no, they're making yeah. they're making use of all their many many characters. They have a lot of scions now, and they're yes. utilizing them well. Yeah, yeah. Hey everyone, and welcome to our Clips and Highlights channel. If you want to keep up with everything Kyle and I have going on, make sure you subscribe to the main Grinding Gear YouTube channel, which is where we actually do these streams. That's right, we stream right here on YouTube. Oh, and uh, sub to the Grinding Gear podcast. Apple, Google, Spotify, really any podcast platform. We're probably there. Thanks. Oh, happy Thursday everybody i just thought kyle mm -hmm. i just thought we could use some music that's a little calmer than what we experienced last ah, week yes yeah little little looped out uh, yeah at the yeah. looperitz at the looperitz yeah, yeah. The looperitz. I'm, I'm a little looped out from the looperitz so i thought <laughs> i would go find some music that's calmer than what the Loperitz mm. had for us in labyrinthos last Ooh. week yeah 
should have yeah, had. I thought to myself, nothing is calmer than a little Raktika during the day. I'm so glad it was during the day. It was night for like the last 10 minutes, and I, I was like, like, this joke isn't going to land. I do like the night, but I get the joke. I oh, yeah, I joke. love the night theme. Yeah, yeah no, Raktika's got a, a banging night theme. I mean, the day theme's baller, too. It's yeah. just, you know. But, well, it was, it, it wasn't, the song was the problem. Is that it would start a fresh copy every time a quest would end. That was the weird part. Well, and the and the loop is only like forty something seconds long. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if it restarts every time you do a quest. It, it's restarting itself. Less than a minute. All uh, right. Uh, right. You ready to cry? Well, uh, yeah. Mostly, I did that last time. So let's maybe wind down. I don't know. Let's hither and yarn. <laughs> Thou hast my gratitude for lending courage to the Laborites. Not disposed to rest on their laurels, several of our guests have elected to accompany my countrymen to their stations. I guess he actually would probably still be sniffling. Well, he did say at, at this point, so he is recovered. Some few may still come hither seeking counsel, and so shall I remain to aid them as needed. If thou art needed elsewhere, do not let me detain thee. My turn. As a matter of fact, I was hoping you might check on Alize. Last I saw, she was struggling to carry an enormous pile of boxes on the West Gate. I could go myself, but we both know whose help she's less like to scorn. Not to mention, much to my misfortune, I can think of several other things I ought to be doing. Until later... All right. Authentic strand gameplay. Let's this do is it. Thank that was Thancred. Yep. You gotta balance the boxes. That was Thancred. While running up the stairs. What are you doing here? Uh, what are you doing out? Oh, what are you doing out here? Okay, sorry. No, I don't mind if you help with the boxes, but it's far from the most exciting of tasks. Are you sure? Well, I appreciate the assistance. We need to get these to Aporia. Time is short, of course, but they're full of organic specimens and samples, so try not to be too rough with them. Alphano should be waiting for us when he arrives. I'll see you there. Deliver the crates. Oh, oh boy, another minutes. one of these. Let's go! Yep, authentic strand gameplay. It's Are you stranding, son? It's a strand. Oh, well, we can move faster than we did in uh, Razathan, so... Well, that, that was a big boss. That is true. This is just a bunch of little marmots in their poop. Yes, rolling around like little raisins. Oh, I used to have mice. I had mice as pets as a kid. They were so cute. I dropped the tray on while I was cleaning the cage on the kitchen floor one time, and Mom was mortified because uh, oh. a bunch of mouse poo just exploded everywhere. Well, you had ferrets, so you're aware of their habit of pooping in corners. Uh, yes. So did you ever do the raisin trick on your parents? Um, no, because that would have been too big for mouse droppings, and I didn't have ferrets until I was an adult living by myself. Oh, okay. So you put raisins in the corner, and then you go, oh, what's this? And then, oh, oh, no. oh, you know, that's actually pretty good to freak out your parents. It does not surprise me in the slightest that you were that kind of yeah. kid. Yeah. This is before the internet, too. Like I would put spiders it. that I made in my creepy crawler's oven in, mo in the dryer yeah. for mom to that's find. That's fault for you. <laughs> One time I, I completely covered their bathroom in creepy crawlers. Yeah. It was great. Good times. Mom screamed. It was great. I would wait until the dryer. I was sure the dryer was down so they didn't melt. Oh, good. It's responsible. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, Alphano says, Oh, you're helping with the crates. Wonderful. You can put that there with the others. Oh, thank God. Sweet release from music. <laughs> you have my gratitude. But how did you come to be involved in this? Ha! Huh. Then I suppose I have th had Thancred to thank as well. If you're wondering why we were tasked with bringing these boxes to Aporia to begin with, so was I. It turns out that this is a base of operations of sorts. Those with final say as to what is included in the ship's manifest can be found here. Father included, I suspect.
That should be everything. You carried all of that at once? Are you trying to injure yourself? Oh, hush. They're lighter than they look. And not everyone has your delicate arms. <laughs> I suppose we should let someone know we've finished. Theo Paulden is in the courtyard. We can report to him. Is that Tiny Joe Dirt? Uh, maybe? Why don't you come along? You should get credit for your assistance, at least. Considering where we are, we might even learn something interesting. Uh, um. Let us use your phone! Wait, what? That's the whole point. That's why we're here. Use we said we would oh, help oh, so we could use the phone. You're calling it a phone. They call it a mine. <laughs> a mine. I was um, a sweet jump. I am that. very worried for your car's warranty, everybody. Like, very worried. I'm thinking that I've seen him elsewhere, but I cannot for the life of me remember when. Should I know? When did we see Theo Paul? I don't know. Nice sideburns, though. Gods. It never ends, does it? What can I do for you? We brought the samples from the Charlayan Hamlet, Series 110. The crates are by the entrance. Ah, thank you. I had expected one of my colleagues, but we are dreadfully short-handed. Dreadfully. Just a moment. You are Fortuno's children, are you not? Alphano and Alize, at your service. You're well acquainted with father, I take it? Quite. I've been friends with your parents since our days at the studio. I remember when we were... Yay high? Oh yeah, I guess that's how you write yay high. Waddling hither and thither. Clearly it's been a while, well, quite some time since we've met. It is good to see you again. Yielding your father's... Nuliths, no less. You knew our parents when they were young? What were they like? Pray spare no detail. On my screen, you are perfectly obscuring Alizé to where it looks like she's not even here. <laughs> and it's it's very amusing. I should like nothing more than to regale you, alas. I am meant to be in charge here, and reams of paperwork want for submission. We can help with that. In exchange for some stories of our parents would never willingly divulge, of course. Uh, very well then. There happen to be three sets of documents in need of delivery. So how about you each take one? And me. Wait right here. There. Was that there? It was there. T was invisible. <laughs> you will find a forum representative waiting to collect these near the southernmost structure I hope I haven't kept her waiting too long. Oh, I hope it looks like the southernmost point in Key West. Never mind, Alphano and Alize. I'm certain it'll be back soon. And we never mind them again. Nope, we just never see them nope. for the rest that's of it. Final Fantasy that's 14. That's the end. Uh, there's more? What? Oh, oh, I guess the southernmost structure is More? Here. Southernmost structure? Where are you? Is it this giant house? Are you openable? Are you ready to receive? My southern channeling? Ah. Yes. The reserved. Reserved. I'm so reserved. Are you not one of the scions of the seventh dawn? I thought you were meant to be working on the ether burner. I don't say anything. Take this piece of paper. Do you have Paulden's paperwork? I was beginning to worry he had misplaced his quill. I appreciate your help in seeing these documents to my hand at last. As for your other task, pray keep this between us, but I sincerely hope you Scion succeed. The Exodus is, without a doubt, the most monumental undertaking in the history of the Forum, and so we must be circumspect in all respects. Risk is a privilege we cannot afford ourselves. At its heart, however, Cherlian has ever been a nation of the curious. It would be a tragedy indeed if we were the ones to stimmy your pursuit of truth. I like you. I like, I'd like where your head's at. Yes, stimmy the truth. 
No, don't sting me the truce. Oh. Literally the opposite. Oh. Oh, can't jump through. I made it! <laughs> Glad you were amused by that. Quick and efficient. I dare say you have a talent for this work. The twins' papers only need be delivered to elsewhere in the facility, so they should be returning any moment. Now pour the tea. We return without a scrape of a scrap of paperwork remaining on our persons, you will note. Both have my thanks and my apologies for sending you on an errand far below your ambitions. Why, even as babes, you struggled out of your swaddling clothes, and... That is quite enough of that, thank you. It was compromising stories of our parents we wanted to hear. To reiterate... Ha ha ha, he says. <laughs> of course, of course, I know your father for so long. I, I must have something. Hmm. Well, as you know... Part of why the Levier name garnishes. Garnishes. Yes, so garnishes. In Charlene is your family's storied history. You too can trace your ancestry, ancestry directly to those who climbed, came aboard. Is that that big boat in the middle of nowhere? Young Crump's hope. A lineage few can claim. Yes. I've never thought of it much myself. It's not as though our forebears founded our nation. They were simply there when it happened. Nevertheless, it has traditionally been a point of pride. Tis why Nyan Krump's pronouncement, renounce the ways of war and pursue enlightenment through knowledge and reason, has ever been our family's creed. It's a big creed. Until your grandfather's time, I... Archon the Huiswa looked not to Nimkev's words, but his deeds. He asserted, in defiance of his peers, that choosing to save the great and small from the rising tides was the true mark of our founder's virtue. Perhaps it was his expertise, his knowledge of ancient prophecy, and the fall of civilizations that led him to conclude that the... that to... Ichu? Askew. Askew conflict at every turn was to consign mankind to his doom. I like to think that I am the person telling you what to say on a date in like a <laughs> rom-com. <laughs> oh, <laughs> in my ear? Yeah. You look lovely. <laughs> there will ever be conflict and calamity will follow thus. To ignore the plight of those one might conceivably save is not wisdom, it is indolence. You remember his words well, indeed. Archon Louisa lived by that personal creed and used every means at his disposal to be to bring succor to those in need, shall I or no. No one loved and admired your grandfather more than his son. Yet Fortuno could not reconcile Louisa's deeds with the philosophy of their forebears and his peers, a philosophy in which he believed so fervently it made a pariah. Yep, you got it. pariah of his father. Fortuno agonized over this contradiction for much of his life. Gods, father. This isn't juicy, this is reasonable. A son may carry his father's blood, but his choices are his own to bear. Is it not always thus? Gods know Fortuno's cranky old goat, so I'm sure you butt heads often enough. Yet, even so, you must know that you are constantly in his thoughts every moment of every day, and that is not an exaggeration in the slightest. This would all hit a little more poignant if he hadn't disowned his kids. You should have seen him when you were born. Barely recognizable he was, with a kind of dumbfounded grin I'd not seen since he first took a fancy to your mother. He was practically skipping when he told me the news. Take my word for it, he loves you to an embarrassing degree. <laughs> embarrassing. But he is also frustratingly single-minded. Once he decided to give action is for... Wait, 
Once he decided that a given action is for the best, he will stay the course no matter who or what opposes him. A profoundly annoying habit when you're on the other end of it. I'm sure you will agree. Oh, I like his earpiece. I'll say. Thank you for your insight. When next we meet our parents, I shall mention what we spoke. Try not to get me in too much trouble now. I need the forum on my side. Speaking of which, I, don't get, I ought to get back to work. I have to make sure those specimens you brought made it to their proper places, or the cranky old goat will have my hide. We could speak again later. With more juicy gossip. Hither and yarn. I'll tell you the story of how it got completely destroyed. Hail, you three! Whoever that was. Oh! oh. <laughs> it's you. Graha. Surely, Koklo has driven you out of the forge already? <sighs> for better or for worse, no. However, he has set me a task that requires more than my single pair of hands. And here you are. I could use at least one of you, but I won't object to more. Unfortunately, Alizé and I have prior commitments, and we have delayed too long as it is. What about you, Valentuna? Can you spare the time? I am sure I can find a minute or two. Perfect. This shouldn't take long. 